Welcome back to the local vibe. Annie live is airing over on channel 12 tonight and there's a star in the show you should look out for. Alan Toy, a graduate of RJ Reynolds High School in Winston Salem, is playing President Franklin Roosevelt and the two have something in common. They're both polio survivors. In fact, Toy is the first polio survivor to play Roosevelt in an Annie production. I'd like to welcome him now joining us live from New York City ahead of tonight's big performance. Alan, great to have you. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be on the local channel again. Oh, that means a lot. So tell me what made you so interested in playing this role in Annie? Well, I've always wanted to play Franklin Roosevelt. Um, you know, I'm a wheelchair user and I um, almost had the same paralysis that, that Roosevelt did from polio. Uh, although I got mine at a very earlier age and uh, after he did, of course, but um, it was before the vaccination and so anyway, being a wheelchair user post polio, um, I've always thought, okay, that'd be a great role to play, but I never dreamed it would be in Annie. Wow, and tell me, how has it been so far, you know, rehearsing and just seeing that dream come to life? It's fantastic. This is the most versatile and talented cast I've ever been to. And I've worked with some pretty major stars. And I'm not taking any way, anything away from their talent, but this collective group of people is just awesome. You've got to tune in tonight. Oh, and I know you can't give away too many spoilers, but what about this cast makes it so special? I can tell that you really believe it when you say that. What about them is it? Well, it's not only the seasoned actors like Harry Connick and Taraji Henson and Titus Burgess, but it's these young kids who are phenomenal. The girls playing the orphans and Selena Smith who's playing Annie are, I'm, I'm dumbstruck when I watch them because I think how could anybody have so much talent in such a tiny little body and only be 11 or 12 years old? They, they sing, they dance, they, they do acrobatics. Um, it's astounding and they're just adorable, all of them. Oh, I totally agree with you. I said the same thing earlier this morning about her voice. It kind of just stops you in your tracks when you hear her belt it out. Yeah, and when she's right next to you doing it, it's like, whoa, blow me over. Oh. Yeah, it was really <laughs> And we're showing some video of uh, the practice, just rehearsal of the dancing and everything that goes into it. I mean, you know, you know, you know what it's like to just practice and the lines and everything that goes into it. It's not for the faint of heart, Alan. No, it isn't. And this kind of production, it's, it's really two shows. There's the what you see in front of the camera, but what's going on behind the camera is the most amazing controlled chaos ever with uh, props people flying in things and pulling them out and uh, lighting people and all the camera folks dancing around behind to get their shots. And it's everything is choreographed, not just what you see. Yeah. Controlled chaos. <laughs> I like yeah. that. <laughs> Control is the operative word. Yes, tonight. definitely. Now, um, it's special to have you here on our show and um, being a Winston-Salem High School grad. I mean, it's live on NBC tonight. How do you think you're going to uh, feel tonight knowing that it, you know, everyone can see it for themselves here in your hometown? Well, I think I've. I've heard that about half of my class of 1968 is going to be watching tonight. So I want to give a big shout out to that class and um, all my friends there. But um, also a lot of people from the North Carolina School of the Arts, where I also went, uh, who will be tuned in tonight. So I think, you know, pretty much half of Winston-Salem is going to be watching. And if it's not for me, it's for this amazing cast. <laughs> I believe that. I think that you're definitely right about that. We're excited. We've been talking about it for a while now and helping to promote it. So, Alan, we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us here on the local vibe. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I hope to get back there soon. Oh, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And folks at home, Annie Live stars Harry Connick Jr., as you mentioned, as you heard him mention, Taraji P. Henson, Megan Hilty, and Selena Smith, who plays Annie. You can watch it live tonight at 8 o'clock over on WXII 12 News.